I, I came out to the west here when I was 16 years old. At first I came out to climb all the mountains and, uh, and to kayak all the rivers and ski and and now I come out here to fish and that's how I met up with Craig because this Madison River is the type of river that I really love. Yvonne and I share a love for the wild trout and the wolverine and the grizzly bear and everything that's wild and free in the clean air and clean water that we're so fortunate to have here. And that's where 1% comes in. When I became a businessman, I just felt a responsibility to protect all of this stuff that I love. So we decided to do 1% of our sales, whether we're profitable or not. You know, this is where this whole idea began 15 years ago. And look where we are today, and look where you're gonna take us into the future. I'm pretty inspired because, you know, coming here and seeing where it all began, I'm aware of how far we've come. I love the fact that we're global and, and growing, and I love the fact that all of that global growth touches down in these very local places. So I want to see us continuing to grow in that way. So more companies involved, more dollars going out to nonprofits, more nonprofits doing great things on the ground. My vision is that we come to think of the 150 million that we've given in our first uh, 15 years as a really small number, because the problems that the environment faces need so much more money than that. Nonprofits are able to go where businesses can't go because sometimes there's not a market. They're able to, you know, be more bold and activist because um, they're driven by their mission. So I think 1% for the Planet has been able to be a really powerful driver um, in terms of making the case for the value of the nonprofit sector. For a lot of companies, they um, look to us to help them figure out, you know, if this is the brand story I want to tell, if this is the impact I want to create in the world. I don't know how to do that. You guys know how to do that. Tell me. And it's pretty cool, too, to see the kinds of nonprofits that they're supporting and the kinds of environmental activists who are, um, you know, gaining steam thanks to 1% for the Planet donations. For example, we have a um, company in New York called Juice Generation, and they support a community garden in Harlem. And so for them, that's their backyard in the way that, you know, this is your backyard, and that's, you know, producing vegetables that they're able to use in their juice, but also that supports that local community and educates the kids about the value of healthy food. Another example of the amazing diversity in our network is a company called Sunski, based in San Francisco. These two great guys, Tom and Michael, founded this sunglasses company as a way to combine their love of the outdoors with their love of design. Their giving goes to environmental nonprofits like uh, Save the Waves and the Conservation Alliance, and it's just a great way for them to align their brand with the great outdoors. And I'm really excited about the people who are engaging as individual members, coming together from different countries, different backgrounds, different age groups, but brought together by a shared commitment to our planet. It's really exciting, and it's really exciting that our model provides a way for them to take responsibility and give back. One percent for the planet creates a way that every day with every choice that you make you have an opportunity you can pick a one percent for the planet product you can choose to commit one percent of your income you can choose to reach out to a company and help them become a member so i think um, not only does the you know the brass tax of one percent for the planet delivering dollars make a huge difference but it also creates a way that people can feel hopeful at a time when i think that's kind of hard don't get depressed get angry yeah. We're the ones that caused all, every one of these problems. So therefore, we're the ones that have to solve it. If we just take, 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 and give nothing back, we're gonna have nothing in the end. And that's why we really have to step up and learn to speak louder and a whole lot more frequently for the things that we know and love. And we gotta give back to those things that we know and love. Our work is not done. We have a long way to go.